What's going on, family? It's your girl, Guru G. Chastity, and we are back with episode 8 out of 10. Well, not really episode, I would say class 8 out of 10 of Beginning Reiki. And so if you've been keeping along with the keep along, right, you know, we've talked about a myriad of things. You know, what is Reiki, the benefits of Reiki, how to apply Reiki in your everyday life. And today we're going to talk about Choku Rei, which is one of the first symbols you receive when you begin your Reiki practice, right? And level one Reiki, the first symbol that is embedded into your aura is Choku Rei. And you want to know what it looks like? Boom! Boom, boom, boom! You see this? Perfect example. This is Choku Rei, right? This is a really, really, really cool symbol. And, you know, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because, well, the point of the entire series is to take away some of the mystery of Reiki itself uh, for people who are, you know, interested in Reiki or maybe you're in the phase of just reading about it. You're not ready to actually begin the application of it, right? Because I was there for quite some time. I just read about it before I ever did anything with it. And so this course is for you. And so one of the reasons that's what I was getting to, that I wanted to share, was to remove some of the mystery because I read about Reiki for a long time and still never truly understood what the Reiki attunements were for. If everybody had the ability to do Reiki, it wasn't until I actually met Heather Meyernick, who is a Reiki master teacher herself. I met her in person at a Roman Gregory's where she was doing tarot readings. And I was just explaining some of the things that I was interested in and Reiki came up and she really broke down what an attunement was. And so that gave me a lot of insight at that time. And I was like, oh, okay, bet we can, I need one. It makes sense. Okay, I get it, right? And so boom, I wanted to share the symbol so that we can take away some of the woo-ness of it, right? But here's the kicker. I won't show any other symbol, right, besides Chokure. I really won't teach any other symbol besides Chokure unless you're in the actual work of getting an attunement because I find any symbol, any symbol, because Chokure is the baseline symbol. So any symbol stronger than Chokure to somebody who's not actively looking to participate in the work, they really shouldn't be shown the symbols, right? Because here's the thing, it's like even if you don't have the focus or the intention on a particular symbol, just looking at it can put it into your subconscious and then it can start to activate and work with certain things that that person may not be ready for. And so that's why Chokure is one symbol that I don't mind showing anybody because since we have the, everybody has the ability to do Reiki, it doesn't hurt anybody to, you know, focus in and hone in on this spirit given gift, right? So boom. The importance or some of the things that I want to talk about as it pertains to Chokure in itself is what it is in general, right? The symbol, again, back to the symbol. Chokure, this is the symbol. This is exactly what it looks like, right? And so it is our empowerment symbol. Well, for level, level one Reiki practitioners, right, it is used to call down the energy. It's like a light switch it activates or alerts spirit to like, hey, I'm working here, or, you know, juice me up, Scotty, you know, beam me up, you know what I'm saying? It gives you that type of energy, and it does more than that, that's what we'll get into, but as you first begin to use it, that's one of the prompts that it's giving to you for it. So, for instance, for me, to this day, I've been practicing Reiki for about three to four years, I would say now, uh, actively and each time before I begin any session I write or draw chokure three times in my left hand so I go one press it down I say chokure either verbally through my mouth or in through my mind right same thing on my right hand three times and then I draw it once and press it down over the client I feel like very simple easy peasy right yes Right? Because I got in the practice of doing that before I began all Reiki sessions when I first became or started using the energy because it was an activation tool. And for me now, it just heightens all of my other symbols that I may use with the client. Right. And so, boom, let's look at the symbol itself and just talk about some of the things that it means. Right. And this video is going to be quick and sweet, family. Right. No need to drag this out. I'm going to hit y'all with the deets and we're going to come on out. <laughs> All right, so boom, this horizontal line here, right here, this horizontal line represents spirit, all right? This vertical line coming down represents the movement of energy, right? The movement of spirit, right? And this, this 
swirl hits this vertical line going down three times, which represents each of the chakras. And literally, if you Google this symbol and look at it, these three rings hit this mode seven points, seven different times, and that signifies the seven chakras, right? So you can see how this is an activation symbol because we're saying, spirit, come down into me, all of my chakras, right? You, this can even be the spine. You can you can look at this as the spine, right? Vital life force energy coming into the spine and hitting all of the chakra centers, right? And so you can see how this is definitely an activation symbol. But some of the other things that chokure can be used for, family, and I'm looking down because I got my notes right here because it can be used for a myriad of things, but I wanted to share some of the ones that were very important to me. The first one being protection. You can use chokure to protect, to protect anything, including yourself, your house, right, um, your energy, your car, your water, anything, anything that is near and dear to you that you use often, you can use chokure to protect it, which is why, you know, before I start my sessions, I put it over my client, right? Because we're going to protect this vessel, protect this being as they journey through their own Reiki session, right? You can use it to clear energy, right? If you just had something bad happen, or you need to clear the energy, you need to get that bad, that bad vibe out. You got to get that bad bad vibe. I keep trying to say it like I'm going to make it better. You're trying to get that bad vibe out. You can use chokure for that. You can use chokure to neutralize chemicals and that's whether it's in food or water, right? It's a really good, powerful symbol. What are some other things? Oh, you can use it to charge different things like your crystals, right? If you want to do a crystal cleanse, you can use it to cleanse or not. You can use it to cleanse different things, but you can also use it to charge up different and so, for instance, this right here, my meditation pillow. I can, I can get Reiki to this pillow, draw chokure on it, meditate on this pillow for a second, and then every time I or someone else uses that pillow, right, it's charged up with Reiki energy, chokure energy, family. And so, boom, that's nothing too saucy, nothing too major. Just a quick little video about what chokure does. I mean, just a little bit more insight. I have chokure tattooed on my right hand because the right side of your body is for masculine energy. And so when I'm looking to connect and draw down that vital life force energy, it makes sense to me to have a channel through my right side, get it some stuff over here to the left, which has the OM symbol on it, and we just create a circle, right? And we keep it going. We keep that energy going, right, family? So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, I love you. Peace out.